So let's take a look at some of the freeform object painting commands in 3ds Max 2011. I've opened up the object paint tab on the new graphite modeling toolbar. And across the bottom viewport are the pool of objects which we're going to be using in our painting. In the middle viewport is the scene in which we're going to be painting. We're going to be painting right on the ground plane or the bottom of the seafloor. So let's go ahead and select the object that we're going to paint with, and that's going to be the coin. I've previously selected it. It's this object right here. So we're going to paint with a coin. And we're going to paint on the selected object, which of course is the ground plane. And we turn on our paint command, and we're ready to begin painting. All I have to do is just drag my mouse, and you can see that it draws objects as I move my brush through the scene. Now the painting is still live, which what that means is we can change the settings before we actually commit the objects to the scene. We can adjust the scale, position, and rotation of these objects at any time, including the spacing. So for example, if I increase or decrease the spacing, you can see this controls the amount or density of the objects that are being painted. If I adjust this, the uh, spacing in any axis, this basically is a, is a position offset, gives it a very random feel to it. I can adjust the rotation. I can also adjust the scale. Now this is scaling them all up at the, uh, the same time. I have the option to uh, randomize their scale and this will give it a, a truly a, a random feel. This is excellent for various types of objects that have random size like rocks or grass or foliage, things like that. So I'll go ahead and set this back to random. I'll set this back uh, pretty close to zero as I will this as well. Oops, on the other way. I can enter in a number there. And when we're ready, we can just go ahead and commit it. So I'll just click commit. And now I, begin, uh, I can begin to uh, paint another set of objects with a different set of parameters. Another interesting thing that we can do is we can go ahead and turn on paint on painted objects. And what this gives us the ability to do is as the brush moves over top of objects that have previously been painted, it essentially paints them on top of that. So the, the coins in this case will begin to build up. So we've seen that we can paint with individual objects. Let's take a look at the ability to paint with multiple objects. I've opened up the Paint Objects dialog box and you can see the chain link is currently active. We're going to go ahead and add the medallion. We'll add the coin and we'll add the grommet. And we'll go ahead and we'll remove the chain link from the combination. So we'll close this. And then I'm going to zoom in here a little bit closer so that we can get a close look at what we're doing. We'll turn on paint. We're still painting on the selected surface. And instead of just painting with the medallion, I'm going to choose Paint All in Order. And what this will do is this will paint uh, all of the objects that I have selected on that dialog box in the order in which they appear in the dialog box. I can also, if you so you can see it's painting the medallion, the coin, and the grommet. I can also choose to paint them randomly. And then in any random order they will appear. So again, this is another excellent use of object paint to randomize objects within your scene. And don't forget, the object is still live, so I can adjust its offset. I can adjust its scale. So this is a good way to, to build up a bunch of random objects in the scene. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is object fill. I've zoomed in on my treasure chest here and I've entered um, edge faces mode. We're going to go ahead and enter edge subobject mode and I'm going to select a loop of edges around my geometry using our the new shift select command so it automatically selects the, the loop. I'll go ahead and choose the grommet to paint with and I'll turn on our fill command and you can see grommets immediately begin to appear and instead of adjusting the spacing I can actually adjust the fill count and it automatically increments the spacing as needed to achieve the desired results so I can dial in a number right, right around there close enough you can kind of see the look that we're going for I can again just the, the scaling of the objects if I have to the offset anything that really will help me add a great deal of detail, surface detail, to the objects within our scene. So this is a great, using object paint is a great way to add that detail in there. So by using the flexible and easy to use object paint commands within the graphite modeling tools, you can quickly populate your scenes with randomly generated geometry along any surface or place them specifically along defined topologies on your objects.